What's, What's up? Go ahead, Jay. What's up, people? Local John, eighteen twelve. Jay Rod, eighty four. All right. Weekend sports update. I know it's been a little while between you know, between shows, but you know things happen. And what? How many? Two weeks, three weeks. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of hard. To Some, break, but, like but the important thing is we're back. So there's been a lot of things going on. Kentucky football has won. Some games and then yeah and then today they yeah they, yeah they they let a, they let one slip through the slip through their fingers at home a thirty seven thirty four loss to Ole Miss not good well not good if their chances at an actually decent bow game now it looks like well, if, I, they're gonna go to a bow game but it's not gonna yeah, be I see, I, yeah yeah they're gonna go to a bow game probably yeah. probably not to what some might classify you know, as an upper tier bowl game right but I get but you know what. And this, that'd have been like you know what the hell with the hell they're bowl eligible for the second year in the row so they're going to a bowl game no less. So uh, that happened. Uh, Stephen Johnson, his passes kind of look a little bit off again today. Yeah, they did a little bit. I, couple well, people, I, just, yeah, one, I see. Remember that one pass that had to be tipped, and then and then the guy had to lean forward and catch it, and it was yeah. If he wouldn't have it, but so yeah. Well, I'm well well. Well, Kentucky football did clear one, you know, big hurdle this season. You know, last week where they finally broke down with and beat Tennessee, although a well, a subpar Tennessee squad, so to speak. Um, basketball has really kicked off. Yes, I was, yes, and I said NBA. I said NBA is in full swing. Uh, 27, 8, 17, 18 college basketball season begins this Friday. A lot of the preseason games have been played for a lot of the yeah. teams. Yeah, I say a lot. Yeah, a lot of the exhibition games. I said the games count for real starting Friday. That's right. Mm-hmm. I just say, you know, speaking of that, the preseason top twenty-five was released on Wednesday. So the top five as follows: Duke, Michigan State, Arizona, Kansas, and Kentucky. And uh, I think number five is number five. I- you know, I, I don't know what it is. Sometimes I don't know if it's just because they think, you know, all these extra players returning for another team makes them really better. And my opinion well, is... Well, I was, well, well, you know what I, get, what I guess to me, in a way, you know, in a way it does because, you know, they've had that, you know, college, you know, they've had that, you know, experience, you know, playing in the college game under, under their belt. So now they know what to, now they know what to expect, you know, going into the second season. 20 years ago... I think that was a bigger deal. Nowadays, it's not. These kids play high school, AAU, and what they're playing AAU, they're not just going to your local gymnasium up the road. They're traveling. They're going to different cities. Hell, they may even go into a different state. And they're they're so they're doing stuff that is similar yeah. similar in a way in a way not not close enough but a lot closer than it was in 1995. Or nineteen ninety nine. I mean, a lot, a lot difference. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, the college basketball landscape is entirely different now than from what. Well, the high now. school landscape for these yeah. kids is yeah, a lot yeah, different. Yeah, even yeah. the high school landscape is different. Completely. Mm. So number five, number five. I, I ain't concerned. I don't yeah, worry about I mean, it. You, I mean, you know what I'm saying. These, I mean, yeah, these are preseason rankings, which which really don't mean much. That's no. because it's necessarily it's not how you start, but how you finish at the end of the year. Now I will say this: most of the time, at least two of these top five teams should will be either in the final four or near the final four. I mean, if you really went back and tracked every single year of the top five, probably two of the top five were probably near the final four or in the final four together. Yeah, I just, yeah. I say two. Well, I just say well. I just say well. Maybe I say well. Maybe three. A lot. I just say a lot of team. Well. I just say, well, you know the top, Well, I I mentioned the rest of the top ten, which I believe is Villanova, Wichita State, Florida, West Virginia, Kentucky's and, North, and North Carolina. Yep. We don't play North Carolina this year, though, right? No. We play West Virginia. Yeah, they play West Virginia at they, West Virginia. Yeah, that'd course, be a tough one. Yeah, they got. Of course, they got the two dates with Florida. Mm. And of course, you know we got the you know got the date with Kansas, third game of the year. Uh, a couple SEC Matt, what Missouri with the number one player, you know. Yeah, I'm not too concerned. I'm, I'm just, I've seen this team play now, and I've heard so much stuff from other people saying, "Eh, it might take them a while. They're not that good as his other teams and yeah. all this stuff." And I'm like, "Well, this yeah, is the see. biggest and longest team I've ever seen him really have." Yeah, I just, yeah well, I see. well, the undefeated team, 
uh, that had I just see no towns, Willie and no Collies died. I just see yeah, they were a little bit taller and bigger, but. Yeah, I mean, I understand, but they had they had a lot of talent, you know, returning from the previous season, and you had all this coming in. So, and and you and I just say, I say we all saw. I mean, they were ready to go from the start. These guys look ready to go from the start. They haven't played anybody that great yet, but I mean, you know, what I'm saying, it's just, they look it's, ready to go. I, yeah, it's at this exhibition. I mean, you know, yeah. say, and I just say, you know, Coach Cal, you know, still think they got a long way to go. Me, I'm kind. Of, me, How many I, times does he say that? You know. I said, me, I'm a little bit, you know, I guess, you know, on uh, on the fence. I said, yeah, they look good. There's probably still, there's still some things that they could work on. I mean, I mean, well, granted, they still, they have two players out with injury. Imagine his team right now with Vanderbilt. And, It'd yeah. be a monster. Yeah, I would say, you know, they, I would say it'd be great with, I would say they would, you know, they would be fine, you know, with Vanderbilt and Baker. You know, cause yeah, Baker's you need a shooter, but I mean, I mean, but if you had Vanderbilt back, instead of starting Green and Alexander together, you could start Alexander and Vanderbilt together with the rest of the big squad. Or you could take, or, or of course you got Diallo, and Diallo's technically your other guard. But So you would start Alexander and Diallo instead of starting Alexander, Diallo, and Green. You know, and run because you're running a little bit smaller there when you do that. Because Alexander, I think, is 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and I think Diallo's six, like... Six five or six six, something like that. Vanderbilt six eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When like, you put green in there, he's only six foot. So you're you're you yeah. you, you give up eight inches. Yeah. I, yeah. So, I mean, you know, they're saying they got a and they got a lot of height, you know, in the game, you know, as well as on the bench. So, I would say, you know, it's gonna well, be fun to watch. Them. Yeah. This it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to watch. Kentucky's gonna be fine. Yeah. I would say Kentucky would be fine. Um, I believe it was Sports Illustrated that might have said, you know, the state of Kentucky, along with Arizona, Michigan State, Duke, are among the betting favorites to win, to cut down the nets in San Antonio in come April. Which, I'm just, I'm just, you know, which should be entertaining. Hell, if you see all four of them in the Final Four, okay. That would be fine. Also, uh, there's a big fight on coming on tonight, Deontay Wilder, and I think he's... Uh, facing a rematch fighter, he he fought a uh, this guy a long time ago. Got the title from him. They haven't fought since. And I can't think of the guy's name. Check that out. That'll be on later on tonight. If you're a boxing fan, throw that in there real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, Houston Astros won the World Series. Yes, yes they did. Great. Yes they did. It's, a, it's the for no first title in franchise history, which honestly, you know, my well, I mean, I'm not a I'm not necessarily a huge baseball person, but I just said, but you know what. I just say, you know, I'm I'm glad that Houston won. You know, considering that, considering that just two months ago the entire city, you know, was in dire straits from all the devastation from Hurricane Harvey. So you know, yeah, that's good for I just him. say, you know, this title. I guess you know that title was for the city of Houston. You know, to lift their spirits. That's a good thing. Yes, excellent. Uh, we also have football this weekend with the NFL. Uh, Kansas City's got a game with um, yeah. Dallas. Yeah, I see you got some. I see you got some pretty good games. You got. So you're getting no Kansas City at Dallas. Yeah. Um, Philadelphia, which has the NFL's best record right now, seven and one. They host Denver. Mm-hmm. Um, I see you got some, and and you got some other good. I see tomorrow Sunday night football, Oakland at Miami. Um, Monday night football, Detroit at Green Bay. That would be a lot better if Aaron Rodgers was playing. Yes. We don't know what this uh, the backup quarterback is going to do for sure. I mean, we've seen him play one week, and then they went on a bye. So we don't know what it looks like with Green Bay. Maybe after the bye, they're better, would they? Who knows? Not better than they would be with Aaron, but maybe they're a little bit better. Yeah. yeah getting a more swing of things. Yeah. I would say, well, you know, honestly, you know that's good. I said, but there are a lot of in. Uh, let's see, you know, there, there's been a lot of, you know. Injuries. Injuries. Issue. Big time injuries, too. Big, yeah, big time injuries. Arizona see. lost. Johnson, right? David Johnson. Uh, I think so. I They're starting see. running back. Oh, wait yeah. a minute. That's yeah. right. I didn't see that. but That was week like week one or two. Remember, he got knocked out early. Yeah, I just said, well, the, um, well they got Adrian Peterson in his place. And, yep. and Peterson had a breakout game a couple of weeks ago. But then they lose. The yeah. Arizona loses their quarterback. Yeah, they, yeah they, Arizona, they lose Carson Palmer. He's gone. You know, Carson Palmer. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers is gone. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers is gone, but he'll that is it. But Rodgers, I think, will be back somewhere around week fifteen, around if, the middle of December. If possibly. Green Bay is near playoff uh, picture, he'll come back. But if they're if they're eliminated, they ain't bringing him back week fifteen. 
Yeah, probably they'll probably bring him back just to salvage the season. And uh, Andrew Luck has been shut down completely. Yes. Gone, done. Which, yeah, and also was well, well, speaking of other teams in the AFC South, Deshaun Watson oh, started yeah. going back for Houston. Apparently, tore his ACL in practice. Non-contact week. injury. And now Watson is done for the rest of the year. That hurts them because Will Fuller was playing his butt off. Yes, and catching touchdowns. Yes, and and honest and I probably honestly, if I had a pick for M- NFL Rookie of the Year this year, I'd hand it to Deshaun Watson right now. I'd, I'd probably, Ooh. I'd, I might, I'm, I'd say there's only I'd say one he other might guy. Be, he might be among the leading candidates, you know, for NFL Rookie of the Year. I, there's only one other guy I can think of. Kareem Hunt has averaged over a hundred yards per scrimmage. For and he's a rookie for almost every single one of his game. I think maybe but one. I think he has a record in that now, and he might end up if he can rush really. You know, keep his rushing up, because you never know if Elliott's finally going to serve the six game suspension. So it'll take him away. Now you got Le'Veon Bell to worry about. You did have like Leonard Fournette and them, but Le'Veon Bell is the other back to worry about. But what if this rookie ends up leading all rushers with rushing yards and scrimmage yards? And you would well, say definitely him then. Yeah, I, if that happens. I, yeah, yeah. I just you know. I see if if yeah if that happens. I mean, cause I I just said, yeah. I mean, I mean, you got a lot of young, ta- you know, it's young lot, talent in the yeah. NFL, young talent in the NFL. Right. Yeah. I just said, yeah. Mm. I said no. Also, you know, today, you know, Saturday, college football, a uh, plenty. Okay, the first um, college football playoff rankings were released Tuesday. Georgia, probably, Georgia, probably, Georgia. Probably to the surprise of many. Georgia was placed at number one, Alabama at two, Notre Dame at three, and Clemson at four. Okay, and do you know my theory on why they did that? Well, I say, well, I'm not. Well, say, I'm not sure. I say, well, well, I mean, you know, my opinion was okay. They put Georgia one and two. Okay, mainly because Alabama was off last. Alabama was off last week. I fix that. Okay. And Georgia, you know, destroyed Florida. Right. Last week, but and and I said this earlier. Probably if Alabama destroys LSU, well, well last check Alabama was up fourteen to three against LSU at halftime. But if Alabama runs away from LSU in the second half, come Tuesday they'll probably flip flop, flip flop Alabama and Georgia one two. Well, my theory is Georgia and Alabama keep winning out, and they're gonna play each other in the SEC championship game. Yes, Georgia I, and Alabama remain one two in the playoff. Alabama will not steamroll Georgia, but probably win by ten points. Yeah, that's, which will push just, Georgia to fourth in the BCS or not the BCS, but fourth yeah. in the playoff standings. Yeah, depending depending on what else happens around the country. But well, really, wouldn't matter because if Georgia stays undefeated and they lose to Alabama by like ten, the ranking system is not going to knock them down three spots. It's only going to knock them about maybe, two spots. That's it. Actually, well, well, I don't know. Maybe well, maybe one. They I, want it to. The reason why they want two is because they want. Georgia and Alabama is going to generate ratings, going to generate money, and they want Georgia and Alabama to possibly play each other again, like a rematch, like a. Well, I, I I'm telling well, you, it could happen. Well, I just think well, uh, well, that's how the college, well, that's how the playoff rankings looked. Okay, because, okay, because, okay, I looked at the bracket. In one on one side, they had Georgia, Clemson in one semifinal, Alabama, Notre Dame in the other. I and they think, hope that you know, and, and, you know, and, and it could possibly be you know an S, an all SEC national championship. Then the SEC really is talking a lot of stuff to all the other conferences if that yeah. happens. Yeah, that, yeah. Well, the SEC is going to talk a lot of stuff if they get two teams in the playoff. Honestly, of course. I mean, because well, I said that's never happened. Although there have been times that they, it, it, and it could have. Yeah, it could have. And I think this is the best year for it to possibly happen. Honestly, Penn State has dropped two in a row now. Yeah, yes, it, yeah. Penn State dropped two in a row because they lost today. Oh, I thought. Oh, coming into the. Oklahoma and Ohio State were on the outside looking in. Oklahoma won in the shootout at Oklahoma State tonight, while Ohio State got ransacked at Iowa, fifty-five twenty-four. So you can count them. So I, Buckeyes are done. Yeah, you can count the Buckeyes out of the playoff race. Notre Dame's still alive. Yeah, Notre Dame's still alive. They won today, good forty-eight thirty-seven at Wake Forest. So Cle- and Clemson's still alive, but Clemson's on the fast track to win the ACC Atlantic Division. But they still have to. They'll probably have to play either Virginia Tech or Miami in the SEC in the ACC title game. But I just say, but if, if I say Clemson already lost once, I say if Clemson loses again, they're probably out. Of, Clemson's right. done. It's been it's been interesting. Um, other than that, 
I don't care too much about NASCAR, so there's nothing else to say about that. I was say, well, NASCAR season is on just about finished. Yeah, they're fit, they're getting close to the last few rounds of the chase there. Yeah. Uh, that'll be winding up. Um, basketball season, the Cavs are on a downslide. It doesn't look like this trade was that great of a deal for them. Or not a trade. Was it a trade? Yeah. It was yeah. it a trade, yeah. yeah. They gave Kyrie Irving to Boston, yeah. which has won seven in a row. Crowder ain't done crap for Cleveland. He can't. I, it just, you know, it's crazy. Well, I just... It's crazy. I just, well, I, I just say, well, yeah, well, Cleveland... Just Could say, well, Boston be the next team? Well, wait a minute, though. Boston's a good team right now, but... Did they lose uh, Gordon Hayward completely for the whole entire year? No, I don't think so. They haven't given a timetable on his return, but I'm but I'm sure he'll return at some point. You know, maybe by playoffs. Like I mean, if even if it took that long, right? Yeah. I mean, he could be back. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. Or, know. or maybe by the All Star break. I don't know for sure on his status. Yeah. Um. But you know, who knows what's going to happen? The NBA's got a long season. You know. So. Mm-hmm. I. Did we cover everything? I. Well, you know, I think. I think that's about it. Yeah, I. You know, I, I think we did. We covered a lot. We covered a lot, and we did it pretty quickly, which is good for you guys. Um, so we're gonna let everything just simmer there, right? Mm-hmm. We'll let it all play out. We'll possibly come back probably next Saturday and try to pick up where we left off and see what's going on. And well, see, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. We do all those things. We'd really appreciate it, wouldn't we, Jay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we would. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I just, yeah, I think, yeah, we probably, yeah, 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 probably think you know we spend a little, a little too much time, you know, on one particular thing than the other. But I think tonight we did a really good job of mixing it up. Really good job. So we covered a lot of topics. Sixteen minutes, not bad. So. So we see you guys again. Good luck out there, guys, and watch your sports and have fun. All right. Take care, y'all.